Welcome to another episode of I Got My Pops. It's your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, representing at 305, 954, and 561. That's right, the whole South Florida, Tri County. You know what it is. Your boy Trick Daddy Dollars. And today, we got a special guest and a special meal straight from the bottom. So, today, what I'm cooking, I'm cooking salmon croquettes. A lot of y'all like to call them salmon patties. I'm gonna cook grits. If you wanna put cheese in your grits later, you can, but I don't cook it with cheese because a lot of people are allergic to cheese. So don't be stupid, all right? And I have one request and one request only. Do not put no damn sugar in them grits. Sugar don't belongs in them grits. It don't belong, never have, never will, belongs in no grits. Salt, little pepper, little shredded cheese, little butter, but no goddamn sugar. So I'm gonna do, the way I do my, when I cut my bell pepper, an old lady once taught me the perfect way of cutting the bell pepper is to cut the top of it off so you can get all the foolishness out of it and you can get the worth of the whole bell pepper. You see that? So what I do, I clean the top, the bud of it too, and I use that first. Cause we not rich folk. We came from the projects. Well, we learn to pretty much use everything. See, that was an old story about black folks. And that's one part of the history of black people that I am so proud of. See, my favorite parts of the pig was known back in the days as the bullshit part, was known as the garbage, the trash, the, the throwaway part. And we made some of the best meals out of them. For those who don't know, if you know what sauce meat is or hog head cheese, hog head cheese is made by grinding the head of the pig. Black folk from Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia will fight you over a head of a pig. Cause they, they take that and they grind that and add pickles and peppers and, and spices. And that's where they get their hog head cheese from. But the good parts of the pig, that I was speaking on earlier, the feet, the pigtail, the maws, the ears, and the knuckles. Those are the parts of the meat that black folk use for many years, for hundreds of years, to make what you call a pot of sauce, pot meat, or a pork pot. Whichever way you do it, whatever way you do it, depending on what county and what city, what hick town you from. Now I cut some fresh bell pepper up, and a lot of y'all probably done made salmon croquette, but trust me when I say this, you ain't never make it like I made it. I'ma carry on, I'ma continue on, I'ma cut up these peppers, and get y'all history, good conversation. We gonna bring our guests on a little earlier. We gonna cook some food, we gonna eat some food, and everybody gonna be all right. And everybody gonna respect my mind, I'm gonna respect this. Y'all keep it locked, I'll be right back. The I got my box. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddies. I got my pots. Here are the top five highest selling young blues singles of all time in the United States. Number five, Unappreciated. It was released on January 1st, 2017, and it went gold on December 11th, 2020. And if you feel like everything you do isn't enough or isn't good enough in your relationship, you might wanna blast this song through your speakers cause he went in emotionally on this track. Number four is a collaboration we didn't see coming with Baddest, featuring Chris Brown and 2 Chains. It was released on June 11th, 2021, and it went gold on February 14th, 2022. And tell me this song doesn't make you want to put the top down and vibe. You know, I mean with the opener with a sprinkle of 2 chains made this certified gold. 
like it's rank. Number three, Miss It. It was released on January 8th, 2017, and it went platinum on April 30th, 2021. Now this track was my introduction to Young Blue. And speaking of Miss It, did you guys miss the heated exchange between Tank and Young Blue last year over titles and stature in the music game compared to back in the day? Well, let's just say the two exchanged sub and fan debates. Guess a collaboration won't be coming anytime soon. Number two, I Saw My Baby. It was released on April 16th, 2018, and it went platinum on February 18th, 2022. And ever heard of the quote, if you adore her, Dior her? Well, Young Blue lights the ISIS boo out, and we saw all the diamonds and paper in the visuals for this song. And we all should have known this was going to be a hit when the intro verse, he said, ooh, you chocolate, just how I like it. Promise I won't bite it. I mean, we are irresistible. <laughs> Number one, Your Mind Still, featuring Drizzy Drake. It was released on October 15th, 2020, and it went two times multi-platinum on August 20th, 2021. And when I think of people saying their favorite ex, I think of this song, cause he literally said, F your new man, you'll be mine forever. And I can't tell if that's a compliment or not, but I guess the heart wants what the heart wants. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Fact. Courtesy of the RIAA. What are your favorite Young Blue songs to jam to? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara, and this has been another Top 5 on Trick Daddy. I got my pot. Yo, this is your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, and welcome back to another episode of I Got My Pot. Now, before we went to break, I was explaining to y'all about what we was cooking. This is salmon croquette. This is when I take my salmon, and I break him up. Now they got they got a soft bone in here, if you notice, but the bone is chewable. But I just took a piece out to show you that I can take it and crush it. There's nothing to it. Nothing to it at all. But we're making salmon croquette. And I took some of the salmon juice. Took some of the juice to the salmon and put it on the side. Cause what we don't want is we don't want it too dry. Want this thing right. Tuck a few of the eggs and put them in there. Bell peppers, onions. We're gonna take a little of that juice. A little more salmon. We'll get this thing just right. Now today we got an interesting topic because we got an interesting guest. At the beginning, at the top of our topic, right? I want you to know this, that a woman must always, always, at all times, keep a job or something to occupy themselves. A real woman would always want her own and would never have to depend on a man or would never have to end up sleeping with a man that she's not attracted to because she wants to get taken care of. So that's the first thing we're gonna talk about. I think that all women should work. Hey, I know they got this thing called common law marriage and all this, where if you take care of a woman for so long, it's like you married, and if you decide to separate or break up from her, and they'll still make you pay alimony. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're encouraging a woman to have a job, to be independent to depend on herself. What else I'm gonna add to this? I'm gonna add some milk. No, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I usually lie to y'all about, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That's heavy whipping cream, Sunday season. Of course, you can buy this at your nearby Sundays online, Walmart online, uh, 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 wherever. And you know, that's the only season I'm gonna use in there. I'm gonna take a lime, a lemon, Put them in a lemon squeezer, and I'm gonna squeeze some lemon in here to give it a nice, fresh, lemony taste. Yeah, nice, fresh, lemony taste. While I give y'all women to think about what I just said. Stay busy. I need my woman to stay busy. She need to occupy herself with having a job. Second of all, I think this. 
if a man and a woman decides to be in a relationship, I think if a man's gonna be a man and a woman's gonna let the man be a man, I think they should start off with the man paying the majority and the bulk of the bills. Yeah, I know a lot of you fellas looking at me like I'm crazy or like I'm going against the grain or what am I talking about? See, a lot of us not relationship material. A lot, and a lot of y'all ain't wife and material. A lot of us ain't husband with a boyfriend material. If you got a problem with what I just said about paying the bills, you none of the above, you no material. You can't even be recycled. You don't go in now one of the garbage cans, the blue one or the green one. If you don't understand that, if you decide that you want to call this woman your lady, you want to sleep with this woman and, and, and you want to rub on this woman and be loved by this woman and missed and kissed by this woman, and you don't understand that this woman needs her man to be her hero, needs her man to be her foundation and needs her man to be there to make sure that the bills are taken care of. If you don't understand that, you ain't woman material. You might well keep laying up, keep shacking up with the dudes because that's all you were. See, I told y'all before, a man would love you, but he'll never love the fuck out you. Not if you're not worth nothing. Not if you're not worth nothing. Now with that being said, without misleading the fellas, without misleading the fellas, we want you to do this, fellas. Don't go out your way and, and, and inconvenience yourself with trying to do things for this woman that you can't afford to do. Don't be buying no Birkins if you're a Dooney and Burke material type dude. If you're on a Dooney and Burke level, stay on that Dooney and Burke level. Michael Kors, stay on that Michael Kors. Don't be buying no, no Birkins. No way you buy a Birkin and you drive a, a Buick Skylark. What are you doing? Y your friends gonna talk about you. Your ex gonna talk about you. Your baby mama damn sure gonna talk about you if you got one of them. You got to budget. All relationships should remain within their budget. Don't be trying to show out. Don't be trying to live like the Joneses. You end up from Miami Lakes to the Miami Bridge, if you know what I mean. Oh. If you, if and, and, and all y'all do these cooking shows, if y'all don't get popped or burnt, y'all doing too much. You're being, you're not being realistic, cause this is what them aunties and them, them, them grannies used to use to keep them dudes in trouble, to keep them uncles and them husbands and boyfriends in trouble in them countries. They cook that, they keep that, that grits on that stove and get out of line if you want to. Put that grits on you. Another thing I want to address. Not only is the man supposed to pay the bulk of the bills, but he's supposed to make sure the health insurance, the car insurance. He's supposed to make sure everything is functioning right around the house mechanically whether he doing it himself or paying somebody to do it but I don't want for one minute to make you women think that you off the hook because the man paying for that because let me tell you one damn thing if I'm paying for the rent the mortgage the car insurance and the health insurance you paying for your own wigs I'm not buying no wigs baby and maybe you'll start getting hair dudes that'll last a little longer. If you ain't got no hustle or nothing going on, you, all that, I mean, a lot of women take, oh, braids and twists and plaits are for little girls. No, sleeping around with little boys is for little girls. No, thinking you more than what you work is for little girls. As a man in a relationship, 
like I said, you should pay the bulk of the bills, the mortgage, and or the rent. Mm. And act like the man for, for once. Act like, be the man for once. Be the man for once. Ladies, don't come looking for my my bank card to go buy no grocery. I ain't got no goddamn grocery money. I, you know how the rent is? I ain't got no grocery money. Y'all looking crazy, huh? I don't got no grocery money. Get your own hairdo, get your grocery, your cleaning supplies, get your, uh, your uh, all your women um, stuff. Get all that. And w when you get all that, I know you ain't got time. See, when a man know that his woman is doing the right thing with her money and the right thing that she supposed to be doing, that's the last time she got to be doing what she ain't supposed to be doing. Now just remember that and keep it locked because I'll be right here. Right back here with I got my pot. Welcome back to I Got My Pops. And we've been speaking a lot against what the dude's gonna think. I'm going against the grain, but I'm not. I'm not going against the grain. Basically, I'm not going against the grain because I have tough questions for the women too. Women, do y'all know when we get married that you don't marry me, I don't marry you, we marry each other? Did y'all know that? Do you know if your daddy ain't pay for the wedding that you automatically in the hole with me? That's the way it was done. Your daddy's supposed to give you away to me. And he supposed to pay for the wedding. And your homegirl, your best friend, the one that you cheat with, she's supposed to pay for your wedding reception. We ain't supposed to start off Oh, that's worse than these, these baby, these girl having these baby, these gender reveals and these baby showers. They spend 5,000 at a gender reveal, 10 to 15 on the baby shower. The baby come here and ain't even got no damn pampers. The baby don't know, the baby don't even know his real daddy. You know, spent all this damn money on this baby shower. Got all these funny looking people there who this baby don't know. And the next time you spend money, gonna be on the one, on the, on the first birthday party. You gonna say stuff like, but this is my baby first birthday. I want my baby first birthday to be special. But your baby don't know nobody there. Women, stop doing stuff like that. Like for instance, you cannot plan my birthday. You can't take me out the country or out the city on my birthday. It's my birthday. So let me get this great. On your birthday, y'all got a girl's trip. On my birthday, I got to come with you. Oh, hell no. Y'all got to start meeting us in the middle, man, if y'all want this to work. You got to start meeting us in the middle. Start off by, listen, I need to approve of who you hang with. Yeah, I need to approve of your friends. I know that sounds a little bossy and a little arrogant, but yeah, I don't want you hanging with three girls that I done been with. And definitely not hang with Nan you didn't been with. When you decide to settle down and you decide to, to, to be a couple or item in life and we decide to move together, I got a lot of crazy ways that I think that's gonna be different from a lot of dudes. For instance, we're not putting your stuff from your place in the storage. We're moving together. We selling your stuff cause we gonna need this extra money. We selling your, you not, you think you're gonna put it in the storage and I'm gonna pay for the storage Then when you get ready to leave me, you go get your shit out of the storage. You go find your whole nother place. You gonna be sleeping on the same couch that I done paid for you to store for a year or two? Oh, hell no. We selling it. When you start over, you will be sleeping on a water bed or air mattress. What the, the new name for them. You No, no, no. I, I, if we break up, I think you should have it rough as possible. I think, I, I think I, you need to feel like a breakup. You're not gonna be going out to the club high-fiving. I've been in a relationship where me and my woman and my wife get in an argument 
and we're walking around the house all day not speaking to one another and as soon as her friend called she ain't mad no more that's not fair to the man men have feelings too so first thing i ask you ladies how do me as a man how do i benefit off of marrying you <laughs> what i get out of it How do I benefit off of marrying you? What I get out the deal? Never thought about that one, huh? You gonna think about it today. You gonna think about it tonight. Matter of fact, I don't mind if you think about it all day. But I wanna know, how do I benefit off of marrying you? Because I know how you benefit. I got a good job. I ain't got with two kids and they grown. I already feel like I should pay all the mortgage, all that. I'm low mileage, high risk. And all I like to do is buy my woman stuff and eat her stuff. That's all I can do. So you get you got the advantage. So tell me, how do I benefit off of marrying you? If that's too difficult, ask yourself this. What are you bringing to the table? Now, if you sitting there looking puzzle, you're not wifey, girlfriend, slider, none, no type of material. Matter what, kill yourself, throw your whole away. Keep it locked right here. I got my pot. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to uh, I Got My Pots. And my guest today is someone very interesting. I want you to know one thing. If you ever see a woman on my show, you know she's funny, she's talented, hardworking, and she's all truly, truly what you think, what you thought she was. My next guest, and from my, I never thought in a million years she was from New York when I first seen her on TV. She out of the state of New York. She out of Queens, I believe. She's a TV personality, a fashion designer. You probably know her from The Apprentice or you know her from Housewives of Atlanta. I want y'all to give it up. Please give it up. A loud, warm hello to my next guest. Nene Lease is in the building today. <laughs> Hi. What's up, baby? How you doing, baby? Good. How are you? How are you doing? Good. You know, I like to hug real good. You ain't hug me right. <laughs> because not only Queens, I'm from Atlanta. Yeah. Ooh. They said you were real tricky. You I'll keep my eye on you, honey. You better leave. My on you. What we cooking up in you. here? Well, you you're, know, I you're, you're beautiful. I mean, you're, you're very Thank you. Beautiful. I took a shower. Yeah, you bathed this morning. Yes. <laughs> I'm cooking salmon croquettes. I love salmon croquettes. You know, I'm I'm originally from Queens, but I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. So we always had salmon croquettes. So how did you how did you switch over from Queens to Atlanta? That's that's like totally, totally Yeah, different. my mom is from Georgia. Oh, okay. And so at 18 she moved over to New York. And that's where she had her kids and then she moved back to Georgia. To that you, that's usually how it goes. Yeah. So, you know, I was just following my mom. What else could I do? Man, let me tell you something. I'm gonna give you your flowers now. That's what we do on this show. Yeah. I love black women who are black women at all times, who respect themselves, and and, 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 and uh, like me and CEO was talking earlier. You um um and uh, my condolences uh, mm -hmm. the late husband. Yes. Y'all broke up at a time and y'all got back together. We did. I appreciate that better than a lot of these women out here. They being recycled. Yeah. At an alarming rate, and I don't think it makes it, 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 it looks bad for us. Well, I didn't know we were gonna get back together now. That was not the plan. The plan was to break up and be broke up. But, you know, one thing I can say about Greg and I, we always were friends. Right. And we had a lot of love and respect for one another. And even through our breakup, we were like, you know, we were still cool. And um, I, on, to be honest with you, I couldn't find anybody better than Greg. <laughs> you heard that shit, Joy? I keep on, you keep on looking. Now, guess what? I done gave up on your ass. Now, what you gonna do? 
I couldn't find nobody to do the things that he was doing for me. Or, or to put up with your way. And like, put up with my ways and everything. Age, yeah. a certain age as a woman, yeah. that you get stuck in certain ways. Yes. And, and, well, and men get of- stuck in certain ways. I think men get stuck in certain ways more than women. You guys get old, you get grumpy, you become couch potatoes, you're not fun anymore. You know, men do that. They get not fun quick. And you I, have I, attitude. I've been, reading, I've, been reading, I've been reading a lot of stuff that these women have been saying. They're like mm-hmm. women, married women. They're not gonna call them a name uh, uh, about cheating and all that. I, I don't. Let me explain something to you. I'm not going through my wife's phone. I'm not running her down. See, me, I'm not doing that either. I'm not. I'm not doing none of that. But wait a minute. You probably did that before though, when you were younger. I never. I, I never had a. You chance. never been that guy. I never really had a chance to be young. I went to prison on my 16th birthday. You were young. You were just and, in prison, and, and, yeah. I, and I got out. When I, once I got out, I uh, I went to live with Luke, and he mm-hmm. was going through stuff at the time. Mm-hmm. And he was explaining to me different ways, and, and, and when you got a good woman, how you should do this and do that. Mm-hmm. And I really took in that. And then you know, the late um, Betty Betty Rice, my godmama, mm-hmm. she mm-hmm. always made me respect women. Mm-hmm. And, and, and then my mama raised eleven on her own. You know, so I, my mama got eleven children, had mm-hmm. eleven children. So mm-hmm. I used to tell my girlfriend. When I when I went to jail, she was like, "Uh, I'm gonna wait on you. I ain't gonna mess with nobody." I was like, "Stop! Don't do that." Why? I don't want you to wait on me. Why? Because if you're waiting on me, I feel like you owe you. So I want you to wait for us. If you want to wait for us, yeah, I don't want I don't want a woman doing nothing for uh, only me. Why? Because, uh, because y'all all y'all got enough. And then when y'all you mean you, we got enough stress. No, y'all got enough everything. Y'all got women's month. Y'all got uh, Mother's Day. Y'all think Valentine's Day is y'all. Right. You do all the. No, y'all I think Valentine's Day is ours. Well, uh, you need to talk to these women. I, I do. To- I think Valentine's Day is ours. Valentine just passed. I made sure I gave my friend a gift. He gave me a gift, and we went on a date. And we go on dates anyway all the time. That's so, good. but I was what I was saying is when you were young, you were talking about going through your phone. I. I'm not gonna lie, I have looked through my husband's phone before, but honestly, that's not my thing. I don't look through your phone. I always believe that whatever's gonna happen, it will fall in my lap. I've always told all of my girlfriends, you don't have to tell me my name is cheating or you seen him out somewhere. I don't put that stress on my friends at all. Thank you so much. I said, don't Thank tell you. me shit, and I won't tell you either. So I don't tell my friends about their guy and they don't tell me about mine. Whatever I need to know about my man, I will find out myself. So I don't do the phone looking or asking. When you were in that phone, did you see something that? Um, I saw what I was looking for. Yeah. Because I know what I was looking for. And yeah. I saw it. But I had to do it because I knew he wasn't going to come clean. So I wanted him, then I wanted to ask him after I saw why it. Did, when you say come clean, why do y'all try to trick us with that? Just tell me the truth. I ain't going to be mad. You're lying. I wasn't going to be mad. Cause you knew already. I wasn't gonna be mad. I was gonna be mad with your credit card, but I wasn't gonna be mad with you. Yeah, see, I, I was respect gonna use that. the shit out your credit card. I respect that because <laughs> I believe I believe that if, if I give certain amount of deposits, I believe I should be able to have some withdrawals. I respect yeah. that. So and you cheat in your relationships? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Why? Because, okay, because they because maybe I don't trust them. Why? A lot of women are. are, are I are, think are, women are more trustworthy than men. No, no. The problem is they uh, are. Here's the thing. See, when you went and you knew what you was looking for, when a woman yeah. go through her husband's phone and go to searching for something and she don't know what she's looking for, she gonna find something invisible. The first thing she see is it's not gonna be what she think it is, right. and she gonna jump to conclusion. See, men, we do our investigation because we. We're, 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 we're macho and we don't we don't believe our woman to cheat. But one thing I want you to know, and I, said, I think I said this for all men, before I call you my woman, before mm-hmm. I call you my slider or anything, mm-hmm. if I'm not doing nothing for you, you're not none of them. If I'm not taking care of you financially, and, and the hardest time is right now, if I'm able to take care of you, her, her, and her, the worst thing you can do is leave me because she wins me. She gets your part too now. Right. So, so I, you really take care of your women. Yeah, I like to buy them stuff and eat their stuff. That's all I like to do. And I'm a, I'm a Libra. I'm a pleaser. I like to make sure that they're very much satisfied. You gonna do what now? You gonna buy their stuff and eat their stuff. Did he say that? 
That's what I do. I'm a public pleaser. I, I, I'm down with the eating game. I'm sure you heard about that. Oh, I yeah. hadn't heard about that. Yeah, I'm down with the eating game, and, and I'm not only the hair club president, but I'm also a member. So if I eat you out, I, I don't mind if you eat me out. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> you know, some women are down with the Gucci crew. They'll go far as the Gooch, and that's the far as they go. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very much. Wait a minute. You, I'll go down on my woman. She don't have to go down on but me. But you want if if she go down on you, if you go down on her, she you want her to go down on you? No, not necessarily. But, but you I, don't I, mind. But she can. She can. But you don't mind. You you want the, her to eat your <laughs> too? If 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 she don't mind. Oh. <laughs> if she don't mind, I bathe. I take sit down baths. That's why I don't say bathe. I, I say bathe. I see, I like sit, to, down I sit down bad. And what that's supposed to do? I make sure I'm very clean, and, 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 and I make sure I'm, I'm right down there. Shave all these great hairs off these balls. Oh Lord, like honey. That, you know. Mm -mm. And I, I don't like old. I don't like to. If you're an older woman, if you're anywhere near my age, you have to be a sexy woman like you. See, I'm gonna tell you some. I, I like dark skinned women. Women like you. Yeah. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. But I like real women that I believe. That when when y'all tell me a story, when y'all talk about misfortunes of your past and and hard um upbringings, I can believe it. Turn that grease down. I don't want no. Okay, baby. You try. Mm -hmm. You you a little feisty, little bossy, ain't you? What's your I sign? Do. Sagittarius. I it. Oh Lord, have mercy. What's your sign? I'm a Libra, baby. I like Libras. I know you do. I can tell you <laughs> like me. You ain't wrong. I like Libra men. But, but Libra men are very honest and very loving. They and, all want they pay. I can't speak for them. Is, because are Libras somebody, freaky? I don't know because there's some, there's some weird Libras out there. Man, and I can tell you some people who are Libras and I know one of them you're going to consider as weird. So, okay, so <laughs> Jesus is a Libra. T.I. is a Libra. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Wayne's a Libra. Oh, he's a genius. Scotty Pippen is a Libra. Oh, and my main man, wild or not, Nick Cannon is a Libra. Well, what Sagittarius you know? Well, my children. <laughs> Your children? Yes. Trina's a Sagittarius. Very, very, very different. What that mean? Sagittarius women are really cool. Yeah, she's really cool. See, I see, I could deal with Trina because I've known Trina. Since she was little. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I know I I know Trina. So you I know she's gonna be four hours late. I can I I am not late like that. See, you're a different kind of city. Yeah, I don't, I don't like to be late. I felt some kind of way, you know, today. I don't like that. Don't worry. I I if it had been somebody else, I'd have been mad, but don't worry. We really it wasn't my fault, honey. I I I, I don't care who fought it was, baby. You got a pass already. Oh, okay. Then. I like like back, back to what I'm saying, I like the real women. I like the mm -hmm. I like the Mia X, the Monica's, the yeah. Fantasia, yeah. the, uh, I don't, I don't find a lot of women that try to be comedians, I don't mm. find them funny. Oh yeah, see, I don't consider myself a comedian. No, you just, you just I different. just talk shit. Right, and, 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 that's, you know what, and that's why people mm. genuinely take to you yeah. from day one, because they, you know they could be you. They, mm -hmm. you know, you want you want to be somebody. And I was, I always right. told Trina that. I like to talk I always shit. told Trina, even though she is two, she's a diamond princess and the baddest. Yeah. Now she's a rock star. Yeah. I've always told her I prefer the baddest because everybody could be the baddest. Everybody's not diamond princess material. You can't be a diamond princess. You're a Cuban. She was a scony looking ass. You know. You yeah. are true. I, and, I, and I try. I try. I like women that are reachable, contactable. I mm -hmm. like women that are, are you realistic. You like women who keep it real. Yes, I, I don't That's like that. Right. I don't like that phony. You like that, that real stuff. Shit. You know, I, I can't stand phoniness. Yeah, you from Florida though. I mean, how could we expect anything else? Yeah, and, 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 and so uh, is that a co-sign that Florida men are the best men? Are, you know, are you I don't know, that? but on my way here, I was saying that, I was saying in the car that when I think of Miami, I think of you. That's that's good. That's a good thing. There, man. Yeah, well, I feel like you are my aunt. So this who you was with on Valentine's Day, he know you feel like that about me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause that's a true feeling, ain't it? He could be. He could be my law one day. <laughs> I don't know about that part, but what I what, do know. What, 
do? What yeah. he do? What he do without you telling me his name? What does he do for? He's a, a designer. Oh, he's a designer. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone then. Be careful with that. Oh yeah, I'm, uh, this is what I do. I've been doing this since I was a little boy. Then you gonna pour that down the sink? Sure live. Now, you know, that'll mess up the pipes, won't it? We'll redo them. No. Ain't got nowhere else to put it. You know what? One thing about it, we in Broward, they catch us pouring into that drain. We'll, we'll still be paying that fine the next time I see it. Really? Well, you got it. So where you, um, what, what, is, what is Valentine's Day? Where you from, L.A.? No, he's not. He's from Africa. Uh, oh, don't start this. <laughs> don't start this. <laughs> Don't listen. As long as you can accept it, I don't want to hear it. No, don't help. Just hear me. You know, I'm dating. So, okay, I mean, okay. So, that's cool. That's cool. That's I'm dating. Cool. As long as you can accept all I that. will say that the dating thing is interesting. Well, because well, well, you can do what you want to do when you want to do it. You no, I don't like I like being in a relationship. I like being with one person. Oh, okay. I like to get into my dude. Yeah. I'm not into, like, you know, no. So what you were gonna say about Africa? You have kids? I do, my son's here. How old is your son? He turned 24 yesterday. Oh, he's a little younger than my son. Yeah, he's a young king, yeah. I know, I mean, I know he go, well, he got you with that African. <laughs> he doesn't have me with the African. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm saying he, he got your back when it comes to the African. Oh, what they be doing? Tell me now. You know what the African be doing. They have about five or six, 10 wives and- Oh, this one ain't gonna have all that. I'm just saying that's I wouldn't a, I, listen. I'm in a place in my life. You do what you do, honey. Right. And when you get with me, then we do what we do. Okay. That's how I, I respect am. it. So go on, honey. If you got I, five or six, why, bless your heart, child. Who want those I, problems? I, I don't want. I, yeah, Who want much. those I, problems? I don't want five or six girls. <laughs> I don't want five or six girls hanging together. Yeah. Who want five wives? Who want five husbands? But you are the kind of guy who want to have your girl and a side piece. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't. I'm, what I'm not doing now. I'm doing no more threesomes. That's my New Year revolution. Oh, but I'm not talking about a threesome. I'm talking oh. about you gonna have your main lady and no, then no, you no, gonna no, have no, your no. side. If lady. I get me a good, if I get me a good girl, it just be me and her. Oh well. Yeah. Why you like having threesomes though? That's so I don't so like nasty. it no more. I don't like it no more because I realize we're being used. They running through us men, and the women is getting over at the whole deal. <laughs> Wait a minute, now they running through y'all. Yeah, How they running through us. Because they run it through. They a, using you, but you probably the one who initiated. But it don't. But they. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to do it without their permission. See, men sleep with who let them. Women sleep with who they please. So, well, all actually, why I'm thinking I was. I thought I was getting over. I was being bamboozled. You know, let me be the. Coach you are the telling the truth coach. right now. They cannot do anything you don't allow them to do. Right. I was and being I would never. I've never been asked to do a threesome in my life. And they probably looked at me and said, "Every chain fan do no threesome," and I sure ain't. It's I not, also not, believe that you men are playing yourself. I don't know. I because don't the know, two women are in up together. I don't know if I ever asked for a threesome. Well, how you got in there? I think that's what I'm thinking. Now that I think back, I got bamboozled in every time. They push because you it's in. always, yes. God damn. You it's just always figured it out. something that they wanted to do. I just thought it. And you fell for it. God. Y'all, y'all women some milk. And then, two girls, because the two women ended up together, didn't they? Not only that. They like each other, the women. They do everything I do, and I don't do half of the shit they do. Well, they don't have a penis. But I'll tell you what they do, though. They won't eat that bottom bread, but they'll eat each other. When they open that loaf of bread, they always move the first two bread out of the Of course. Way. See, a man will take that first bread. Women won't, because they've been selfish. And, and, and it seems like you got a problem with women, asleep, though. And guess what? I, I started, but I fell asleep half of the times too. And when I woke up, they were still busy. So I'm, I'm just a fool. I'm just a fool. I mean, really, you got a thing with these women. I huh? love women. You do? I love. Well, women. you talking about them like you don't like them? I'm, I, I thought that I could, me, you could have a conversation, and a woman could feel a certain different way, and, and about your opinion, and woman, well, see, the, the average woman would want to do things that, like fantasies. Women have fantasies. Yeah. Some women fantasize about having two, three at one time. That ain't never been a fantasy of mine. I know a lot of girls that if you if, if, if they wasn't ashamed to admit it, they'll tell you. And see, that's the problem with women these days. They do everything for the other women. They do nothing for the men no more. They do everything to be accepted. As long as you say it's cool, then they admit it. Well, yeah, okay, I admit it. Well, I did it one time. 
And I, I noticed that by women. That ain't true. I'm telling you, all, <laughs> all of them is true. If, I'm gonna I tell have never a, felt that way. I'm going to tell you what a woman to do. A woman to tell you that a man tried to talk to them, yeah. but they, they won't tell you that they f that man. They'll be like, girl, he tried to talk to me, girl. He tried to talk to everybody. But if you already yeah, they will be telling a girl that. Right. They will. And no, they really done slept with him already. They done already, they done already knocked their head off and they were mediocre and... Not mediocre, honey. Yeah, yes. That's what's going on right now because these women are sleeping with men that they're not attracted to. And so then, the, you mean the man was mediocre? No, the, the woman, the women, I, well, I don't, I, I don't know about the men, <laughs> but the women are mediocre. <laughs> A lot of the women, uh, uh, cause every all these women, I listen to them, <laughs> the singing songs, the rap songs, yeah. all of them ain't got no good stuff now. Ain't no way now. It was always there was always different types of women, yeah. different type of singers, yeah. actors, comedians, different type of women. You mean to tell me all y'all got good stuff? You think all the men got good stuff? All them I, talking I, about I, what they I, can I, do I just too. know what I just know what I do. The last, the, I just got in jail for the last the girl I had sex with. When that was? It was like about a uh, couple months ago. I was the last girl that I really put it on. You went to jail? Yeah, I made a tongue slap my brains out. They gave me an arm of salt. You like cheese on your eggs, baby? You see how pretty them eggs look? I don't know. You like cheese on your eggs? I'm thinking about it. Okay, let me know. All this stuff you saying is making me not want eggs at all. <laughs> And then yeah. what I did was I, I had the charge and drop and I counter sued her. I counter sued her. I got a, a case in court right now. I counter sued her for uh, damages. When was your last serious relationship though? Last real? serious relationship? Mm -hmm. Shit. I'm talking about for real. Like you really I got to ask it. Joy what day that was. <laughs> oh, it was a day? Yeah, Love and Hip Hop before season, season one. I Love and Hip Hop Miami. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Uh, so, Valentine's just passed. Did you give any gifts out? Yes. You did? Yeah. To people you like, love, uh -huh. you got feelings for? No, no, no. I don't know. I, I just gave out to gifts anybody. to people who I, who I thought deserved the gift. Oh, you mean like people who work for you? No, hell no. Well, I'm, get a, I'm not giving no, no gifts out to no people, nobody that worked for me for Valentine's Day. Well, that's what I'm saying. You that, said you said that, the people that, that deserve that what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> it is called Fred Nash, but you were saying it like you was doing it on the I do it. I, like I, you I do it for gifts. a friend. I'm giving like, my gifts to women who, who, I, who I know that deserves a good man, deserve a gift, but ain't got one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You just giving it to a friend then. This was nobody that you were with sexually or you take out to Not date. at the time when I gave it to I probably have been. But well, that was just a, a week ago. I, I probably have been. <laughs> You probably haven't did what? I, I probably have been. You have been sexual with her? Yeah. Well, how many purses did you give? How many purses? How you know I gave a purse? I just feel like that's what you would have gave. God damn. Who told you that? Nobody. I just feel Alvin like you told you that shit. Alvin ain't told me that. Yes, he did. I you know gave up. I want to know, did you give a purse? Okay. Yes. How many purses did you buy? One. What One, kind was it? A YSL purse. Oh. <laughs> okay. Who, who told you that? Though, you I like real? a wise hair. I'm, I'm I'm rocking a wise hair today. I want one in here today. How much you pay for it? You buy her some shoes too? Hell no. Now you get you know shoes. You can only get one thing. Yeah, because I'm getting this. Oh, I used to tell well, my guy what to give me. Well, and that's the problem, y'all. Tell us what y'all want to get and give us what y'all want to give us. That's always been a problem. When you get us something, nine times out of ten, it's with our money. So you didn't get no gift? I ain't get shit. You didn't get sex? No, I was getting get that anyway. I gave a gift. Did, did he like it? Did it last all night? He picked it himself. Oh, okay. He picked it himself. And I, I said, what do you want? He picked it and I, 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 I sent it to him. That, 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 now that's cool. That's yeah. cool, yeah. Who told you I wanted some eggs? I asked you, did you want cheese? And what did I tell you? And you said you haven't decided. That's the problem with me, and they don't follow orders, honey. I told you that I don't like how those eggs look. I don't know what it means follow orders. I don't know if it's in New York or Atlanta, but in Miami, they not following orders. This this tasting. Why? Because anything I put in your mouth, baby, you're gonna appreciate it. No, you tried it just then. 
Anything you put in somebody's mouth, they gonna appreciate it. You want hot sauce? Did I ask for any? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to be courteous. Would you like a water? Maybe. Okay, well, I want to tell you this. I've never seen anybody eat salmon croquettes with hot sauce. Oh, no? No. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Well, I didn't tell you to put none on I, mine. I'm not going to put none on. I'm going to put it to the side. And if you want to try it, you may Who try it. Who told you to do that? Well, I've been, I've been, I'm a real, I'm a real Miami boy, born, bred, and raised. And I think we got some of the best food and taste when it comes to everything in the world. Close that refrigerator, honey. Yes, ma'am. And I'm yeah. very submissive too, you can't tell. So we, we, let's, spray, let's spray over this food before we eat. Okay. See, where you at? See, if you coming to eat. Yeah, man. See, you eat salmon now. Uh. Yeah, I eat salmon. Okay. These are salmon croquettes, honey. This ain't the real stuff of salmon. The salmon no, I don't like the red. I don't like no, I don't like the stuff. I don't like too much of the red stuff. The red stuff. What's yeah. red? Yeah, you put way too many grits on there, honey. He don't eat certain things. I gotta give him something what he eat. <laughs> I'm curious about them eggs. That's enough. Why? Okay. She is Ooh, bossy. I, just, I don't like large portions. I okay. think large portions are just, oh, it's just too much. Too much. Yes. Everything needs to be very tiny. These it's days. not a good vibration? No. I have no. a love, I have a love hate with food sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to lead in prayer? No, you're going you to lead in prayer. Lead. You, you have to lead in prayer. We, we, well, I'm in your kitchen, honey. I, I'll lead in prayer. No problem. Go right ahead. Lord, I thank you for the food we about to eat. Come on, put your hands in the middle. You can touch my hand. Oh. Ain't go ahead. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for the food we're about to eat. Thank you for, uh, you know, having us here. Thank you for everything for my mother, my father, my sister, my brothers, for me and CO and all the producers and video men, all the fans across the world that's subscribing right now and everybody that's fans of anything that we do. Lord, thank you for the food and thank you for everything else. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hey, lady. Let me taste this food, honey, give you my real opinion about this thing, honey. You don't put all this butter in my food. So you a cook food. as well, right? Mm-hmm. But I ain't cooking with all this stuff. Where's the salt and pepper? <laughs> you want salt and pepper? You want more salt and pepper? Yes, honey. That's the Black pepper. Black people. Black people have a problem with high blood pressure. That's well, it. honey. Excuse me. Well, you don't expect. Well, why would you cook me these eggs with all this butter and then tell me something about some high taste blood them, pressure? Taste the meat. It doesn't make sense. Taste the meals and tell me what they taste like. I'm sprayed of these eggs. Oh, that's nice. Well, you like it? Feel vibrations. I want to try the same. Remember, I told you that for your mouth, you'll like it. Look, got my own water, baby. Now you see, <laughs> you thought I was being managed. Something is right with this man, huh? You thought I was being managed. <laughs> Now he's a real cool dude. Now this is a real good salmon croquette. Yes, of course. Now I do like that. Of course. Wow. You don't have to eat fast, eat slow. Oh, so you don't like it? Oh, okay. I want you to take your time. You're not gonna be grabbing my head though. I'm, I'm just throwing my home back to my head. Here's the trip, What are you I do this all the time? What's your favorite I'm dish? a Southern cook. I love to cook collard greens, I'm very big on Southern food, period. Mm. And it seems like you are as well. I gotta get you that seasoning. What season do you have? I got my, my seasoning. Um, I have- Sundays. I have Alvin go by there and get you a couple bottles from the restaurant. What kind of season is it though? It's a Sunday season, this is it. Here. Like a season all? Season all. Uh -huh. Season everything, mm -hmm. meats and everything. Mm -hmm. Chicken, you fish. With it. Taste the eggs, do you man. get everybody water with ice in it? You got room for the water? No, I just asked, do you freeze all the water like this right I, here? She is tough. I was trying to impress you. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm impressed. And the, the reason I was saying that is because I'm from the South and I like water with ice in it. Okay, see? And you gave me a frozen. This is something I do. I put my ice in the freezer and let it, my water in the freezer and let it get some ice in it. And yeah, I like that. Take mm -hmm. some I don't do eggs. I don't Get like to do eggs. Get proud. Am I gonna get a YSL first? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trick got it. What about a brooch? What kind of brooch? Chanel? Oh, don't depend. Why I gotta be a brooch though? What about, what about some shoes? She tough. Oh no, they got this new bracelet that's out. I... <laughs> you 
You trying to leave? <laughs> if I, listen, it's been a good show. I'm going to get out of here before I end up poor. <laughs> thank, you, thank, you to my, thank you to my beautiful guests. Y'all make sure y'all follow her. Yeah. On all her social media sites and support everything she got going on. What you got yeah. going on? Tell us what you got going on. I have a lot of things going on. So in Atlanta, maybe Trick will come down. I own a lounge called the Lanithia and I have that. a kitchen. I love for you to come to my kitchen and cook for some of the guests inside of the lounge. That would be fun if you're ever in Atlanta. You can bring Sundays inside of the Lanithia Lounge. Yeah, that's, that's that good would up. be really cool. You can shoot in there, you can cook in there, have people to come try something. all age, food. not all old people my age. Yeah. And so one of the new things that I'm trying to do with the Lanithia Lounge is go on tour. We're trying to pop up in different places. So we're not a nightclub. We are a beautiful, sexy adult lounge, right. but we have live entertainment. Uh, we do bottle service, hookahs, and we also have great food. And so we want to go and we want to go on tour right now. So maybe I get a chance to pop up in Miami, Florida. Also, you know, I'm on a comedy tour with Jess Hilarious and Lonnie Love and all the B Simone. And so we will be coming to Miami soon too. So, I yeah, I produced that show. Might need to have a cook off. I probably no, no, beat no, I'm not trying to ruin nobody's career. Boy, you <laughs> need to stop. I gave up flies, man. I gave up flies. <laughs> but you would. Would you come to my lounge? Yes, I could. I want to go by your restaurant I while love, I'm here. I would love for you to make me come. You trying it now. <laughs> so, what I'm about, just speaking in general now. I, I would love, love to go to your restaurant. Okay, whenever you're ready. We're closed today, so when you leave. Oh, you're closed today. We, we'll, we'll go tomorrow if you don't leave. Well, it depends early. on how long you want me to stay. Hmm. Um, well, we closed at seven, but we can find somewhere else to go afterwards. <laughs> Keep on playing. I got what you want. <laughs> Think I won't climb that goddamn tree. <laughs> now make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. And remember, <laughs> I got my pots. <laughs> 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 Hey,